In this video we're going to show you how to disassemble and to upgrade the, um, the hard drive and the um, memory in um, an Acer E5 laptop. Acer Aspire Ease and Eagle 5 laptop and that could go with any E5 models. Um, and I'll also show you how to take out the battery and look at the, the number and change the battery on it as well in case your battery goes dead. Um, and this, I'll show you the front of this model. This particular model is an Acer E5-522. Acer Aspire E5-522. Alright, so you're going to have uh, on the back, you're going to have 18 screws, 18 screw holes. And I went ahead and took most of them out. But of course, get you a little, little um, Phillips head screwdriver. And... I left a couple in there for a few in there for demonstrations purposes. And the only thing you're going to need is a Phillip and like a little small steak knife or a little small um, flathead screwdriver as well. All right. The one disappointing thing about this particular laptop is it only has one little slot bay for your RAM, your memory. So you will have to replace the 4 gig with an 8 gig DDR4. I'll show you a picture of the DDR4 here in a second. Alright, so we've got them all. Now what you want to do is you want to slide your DVD player out. You can either use your thumbnail or use the little flathead. So that's the DVD. And there's going to be three screws here. So you got a total of 18 here and then three here to make a total of 21. And you're going to have three. There's one. And then you're going to have two more. Now, I'd usually work on the side of the DVD, pop it up. And if you need help, uh, use your flathead and uh, as you can see here I'll just go through the line which I think yeah I usually start where the DVD is it's a little bit easier to go there and you have to take a little bit of muscle make sure you got all the screws out because if you don't you'll break the base and you don't want to do that you'll crack it uh, it's a little bit easier for me just because I, I had already disassembled it but you're going to want to go all the way through the line all right so what you're going to, want to do is you see everything's exposed your hard drive your RAM and your battery um, the memory like I was saying it with two slots there might be some e5s out there that have the second slot with the brackets and you could upgrade that way but you'll see here um, they just have one slot for and this particular laptop's got four gigs in it it's an AMD um, before you take it out you want to really want to take undo your battery and get your steak knife or your flathead again you'll see in the center here where you could undo the battery. Do that anyway, even if you're not replacing the battery, if you're replacing your hard drive or your RAM, uh, you want to disconnect that anyway. And then go ahead and, and then take the RAM out. If you are just here to replace the battery, that pops out and literally pulls out like that. And what you could do to replace it, just pull off the model number on it. Um, this particular one is an AL15A32. That's A is an Apple, L is an Larry, 15, A is an Apple, 32. You can go on Amazon or eBay um, and get a new one to replace it. So that's that. And then, so with the memory, these little two prongs, they just pry open. So you, you, pull, you pull them away from the memory and it just pops up. So as you can see there, that's the, the DDR, um, this is the DDR4, 
this particular model of this is the four gigabyte one Arsene Ralph X8 PC 3L. This is a and then it's a 12800 12800 S and Sam. Four gigs of RAM. And so what we're going to do is we're going to upgrade it to an eight gig. Um, I'll show you a picture right here of the eight gig now. All right, as you saw in the picture, it's an eight gigabyte and it's a DDR4 RAM. So it's uh, eight GB, one R X8, Peace and Paul, Season Cat 4 2400 T. And as long as you're getting a 2400 and some version of the uh, DDR4, you should be fine. Hard drive. Um, if something's happening in your computer is crashing and it's giving you fits and you can't get back into your operating system, try to go do a system, a full system reset, system restore. Um, and if you go into my YouTube channel and you just type in Acer Reset, you'll find how to do uh, an Acer System Restore. Uh, it's basically you're just tapping a couple of buttons and it takes about 30 minutes. So if you are having problems with your hard drive or your operating system, you think it's the hard drive, try that first. If you're not able to do it, it's most likely your hard drive and you'll have to install it and then install Windows 8 or Windows 10 all over again uh, with, a, with using the uh, DVD drive with a disk. Um, that's for a different video. Alright guys, thank you for watching.